Okay, hi everybody, this is Mr. Manning, and this is going to be a quick video about how to make your presentations, uh, if you're using PowerPoint or Google Slides, uh, how to make those presentations look a little bit nicer and be much more interesting to your audience. So, what am I talking about? Basically, uh, there are designs or themes that you can um, use whenever you create a presentation. And what most people do is they open up PowerPoint, like I've got open right here, or they open up Google Slides, like this right here. And when they start to look for their themes or their backgrounds, they just simply use the ones that are already kind of pre-installed. So for instance, I'm on Google Slides right here. If I scroll over here to the right, here are the themes that are pre-installed in Google Slides. And some of these don't look too bad. I mean, they're okay, right? But the problem is, is that audiences get really tired of these themes because they see them over and over and over again. And the reason they see them over and over and over again is because most people, when they create a presentation, they use the ones that are already pre-installed. So what I'd like to show you guys today is how to get away from just using these, or if you're using PowerPoint, these, the ones that are across the top here, and find, um, find designs or backgrounds or themes, whatever you want to call them, uh, that are more interesting and more related to your presentation. So we are going to look at three different websites today. Um, these are not the only three websites on the internet that provide free um, backgrounds and themes, but they're three of my favorites. And one reason I really like them is all of the slides that they provide are 100% free and I've never received any kind of like bad virus or any kind of malware or any of that sort of stuff from these websites. So let's begin. The very first website I'd like to introduce you to is called um, fppt.com or freepowerpointtemplates.com. Now you can tell by the name this one is for PowerPoint. So if you want to use Google Slides, there is going to be another option for you in a moment. But if you are okay with using PowerPoint, then this um, website could be an option. So when you log in or when you open up freepowerpointtemplate.com, uh, this is what you see. And you can scroll down and you can see some of the newest templates that they have available. And if you keep on going further, you can see even some of the more popular ones that they have available. However, there are a whole bunch more than the, than the ones that are on the front uh, page. So how can you get to those other ones? Um, up here across the top, they've got categories. They've also got tags. They've also got uh, a search box. So there are lots of ways to look for what you want. So I'm going to click on categories. All right. And I'm going to scroll down again. And here are some of the more... Um, uh, popular categories. So you can see that they are alphabetized. A lot of them have the more button so you can see even more. Um, let's say that I am doing a presentation about football and I want to see if I can find a background that is related to football. So first I'm going to look in the F's and if I click on more I don't see football there. So what else could I look for? Maybe sports. So now I'm going to go down here to the S's. I don't see sports in this list, but if I click on more, there it is. And this, this number in parentheses tells me how many there are. So there are actually 96 backgrounds that are related to sports. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to bring up some of the more popular sports ones. So we've got skateboarding, tennis, there's a couple of running ones, hot air ballooning, golf, basketball, and here is a football one. So there's actually eight pages worth of templates. It's, I think there's 96 of them. There might be more football ones. So if you don't like this one, keep looking. But let's say you like this one. So you're going to click on it. It's going to give you kind of a preview of what it looks like, might even tell you a little bit about it. 
you are looking for an orange button that says download. There's a lot of ads on this website. They, they have to put ads on here because it's free. So don't be tricked into clicking on like this button here or some of these other ones down below. These are not what you're looking for. Uh, what you are looking for is this orange button. So I'm going to click on this orange button. Depending on what web browser you're using, it's going to download in the bottom left corner. I'm using Google Chrome, so mine looks like this. I open the folder that um, just downloaded. Inside of there, there's actually several files. And the one that I'm looking for is the PowerPoint presentation file. It'll be orange. It has a P next to it. I'm going to double click on this file. And here is my brand new football presentation. So you can see that I've actually received four slides with this one. There's like an opening slide. There is kind of a standard looking slide that's got the football players across the top. There's another one that's got them on the sides here. If you need a presentation that ha that is more than four slides, you can duplicate any of these. So let's say that I want another one of these. I just do a right click on it and choose duplicate. Now I have another one of them. Okay, so using FPPT is that easy. Um, I am now going to go to the next website, which is called TemplatesWise. TemplatesWise is extremely similar to FPPT. It's just one more option on PowerPoint templates. So here are some categories again. There's also some different search options up here at the top, popular, new, search box, and so on. So this time I'm going to click on abstract categories. And here are some of the abstract ones. Um, I kind of like this one right here, this black one with like the pink um, flowers and stuff. So I'm going to click on it. Now, just like before, it, there's some ads on this website. They got to pay the bill somehow. So don't click on the ads. Be careful about what you're clicking on. You're looking for this download button right here. I'm going to click on it one time. Just like uh, on FPPT, it downloads down here at the bottom. So I'm going to open this folder. And here is the um, file that I'm looking for. So I double click it. And I should hopefully get a really cool PowerPoint background. And there it is. Awesome. I like this one. Um, so it also has four different slides. And if I need more, I can duplicate any of these. OK. Finally, last but not least, is a website called Slides Carnival. This actually might be my favorite one. And one reason it's my favorite is because it gives you the option to use PowerPoint or Google Slides. So I know a lot of you guys like Google Slides. I do too. This website is for you if you want to do a Google Slides presentation. Now, it does not have quite as many to choose from. Uh, FPPT and templates-wise, they have hundreds. This one, not so much. I would say maybe it has one or 200. So that still is a lot, and that probably is going to, you're probably going to be able to find something that you like. Um, but if for any reason you can't, try out the other ones. Okay, so there are some categories up here across the top. I'm going to choose creative. And then you scroll down and you look at some of their presentations. Ooh, I like this one right here. So I click on it. Scroll down a little bit further. I can actually see the different slides on this one if I click it. And there are two ways to download it. I can download it as a Google Slides or I can download it as PowerPoint. Since we've already done a couple of PowerPoints, let's, just, let's do Google Slides this time. So I cl click on Google Slides. It's going to prompt me to make a copy, which when you do is should go into your Google Drive. So I'm going to make a copy. And there it is. Now, usually on this website, I've noticed that they create a whole bunch of slides for you. In fact, it looks like I have got, oh my gosh, I'm still scrolling, 28 different slides that I can pick from. Now, some of them are duplicates, and you probably don't need 28 of them. So um, you will, once again, use duplicate if you need more of one or you can right click and choose delete if you don't need one. 
Okay, guys, so I hope this was um, helpful to you. I hope that you use this resource to make your presentations look more interesting and more appealing to your audience. And hopefully you can find backgrounds that are related to the subject that your presentation is about. All right, have a great day.